Bothell is the most sought after community in Sonoma County. County. Yeah, because you have tons of trails and parks and restaurants. Great, great community. Okay, so I think it's right over here. Sonia and Nate's house is a little over 1,300 square foot, three bedroom, tri-level. Sonia's husband, Nate, also went to school with us. Mm. They were dating in high school. Yeah, actually, Nate was in the same grade as Justin. So yeah. that means all three of us married our high school sweethearts. Tell us what your plan is. My mom passed away, mm. and my dad's on his big property by himself. So we want to live out there with him. We're going to build a father-in-law on the property and oh, then wow. live in the house. Mm -hmm. Have you listed the home? Like, have you had any activity? Not a whole lot. It's been about 30 days. We listed at 600. The offers weren't there what we wanted, so. We are hoping for a bidding war. Yeah, I would expect it. 600. But you guys, this lot is killer. I feel like there's a lot of room from 600 to go up. Yeah, we definitely want well, top dollar. And yeah. it run kind of a time crunch because we're now renting, so we're, we we're really looking to get the house out. Get this done and then start building at your dad's. Exactly. That's it. All right. Yep. Okay. Show, show us inside. Us. Okay, guys. Yeah, I love the long driveway. This is great parking. So here is our living room. Wow. Thank you. I love all the natural light. Yeah. yeah. Especially in a home like this where you have the sunken living room, it can almost date a house a little Definitely. bit. Yeah. And this is an easy change. Yep. yep. And the yeah. vaulted ceilings yeah, definitely make that. it look larger because we're only a little over 1,300 square foot. This is a nice size living space for that square footage. Yeah. Here is kitchen. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love the skylight. If you took out these couple little walls here, would we see more of the, the bolted ceiling. ceilings? Yeah. And would that actually make it look larger? We can't add square footage, but we can make it appear larger. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's go check out bedrooms. Honestly, in here, there's not much you would do. A little bit more neutral color. You could put in some new carpet. Yeah, nice room. Okay, on Yo. to the next. This is a nice size uh, hall bath. Well, I think in here, it's really modernizing. Updating it, absolutely. Other bedrooms. Oh yeah, this is nice. Kind of like the other one. And then the main? Main's in here. Okay. Wow, yep. this is big. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Oh, and a walk-in closet. Yeah. One of the big things we look at in Bothell is all the new construction popping up. How can we get your home to compare with that new construction? So we've actually identified a home that we would love to show you. It's similar square footage, bedroom, bathroom count, lot size. Yeah. Sounds good. Cool. Awesome. Let's yeah. check it out. Sonia and Nate's house definitely needs a lot more updating than I thought. Sure. I mean, look, this is all new construction. Yeah. People are going to be comparing to these homes. Yep, this is it. Great roof, great siding. I think this is going to be a good comp for them to great see. Great comp. Do you guys see why we brought you to this house? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We feel like if a buyer was going to look at this house, they would also look at yours. Let's go check out what's inside. The floor is really pretty. I like how it's open. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. felt like it was very comparable. Yeah, it yeah. really is. Yeah. Kitchen and dining room. Two pantry spaces too. Nice. That's nice. Yeah. yeah, and pantry's huge in a kitchen for yeah. sure. This does have a lot of great cabinet space. Yeah. And I love this over here. Anytime you can add in yeah. what you would consider kind of that workspace in general. It's mm -hmm. a good place to let your pies rest, right? Oh, yes. that's true. Ooh. Pull off your pies and drink some, make some coffee too. Right now, your kitchen feels closed in and doesn't have a ton of workspace. So we would take down the two walls separating the kitchen from the main living area and rearrange the kitchen using space from the dining room to create a huge open kitchen. Once we take everything down, we'd install all new flooring, appliances, and a side buffet and pantry so you can cool those pies. These days, in 1,400 square foot or less, I mean, formal dining rooms probably aren't you know, desired. And another thing that I noticed here is, you know, it's all one area, but it's interesting, you know, if that living room over there was sunken, mm -hmm. it would then again feel a little disconnected. The sunken living room in your house dates it. So the top priority would be to raise the floor to be the same level as the rest of the main floor. Then use staging to define the living room and make it feel like it flows seamlessly into the kitchen. 
This house was listed at 665. Okay. Um, it was on the market for five days. Knowing the location, what you've seen now, what do you think the final sales price was? I'd say today's market around 750K. Okay. What do you think, Sonia? Um, 775. So Sonia's right. It was at 775. Oh. Yeah. So that's phenomenal. And you guys can see what we can get for that price. Mm -hmm. yeah. What we want to do with your home is really exceed new construction. Yeah. Take yeah. what's happening around the corner from your home, but add a lot to it. Yeah. yeah. After seeing this, I would update the floors in your mm -hmm. house, paint, hardware, bathrooms, uh, kitchen. Mm -hmm. We make it look uh, just as magazine ready. Like no one's ever lived there before. Exactly. Yes. If we listed it at 775 and our original was 600, we would get back that $80,000 that we put in yeah. and there would still be $95,000 profit to split yeah. 475 and 475. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Once we start on a project, we like to get it on the market within four weeks. That's awesome. It's amazing. We'll get started on this next week so that we can get it done and hopefully quick, quick. finish before the girls yeah. start school. Excellent. Excellent. With only four weeks to get this project done, Jeff and his crew are hard at work taking down the walls dividing the kitchen from the main space. And he's raising the floors of the sunken living room to give it a more modern feel that will compete with all the new construction in the area. We assured Nate and Sonia that we get the house done before their kids start their new school. So we're working as fast as we can. Jeff and his team have been busy reworking the kitchen floor plan to make room for two pantries and fixing that disaster upstairs in the hall bath. Jeff's team is hustling to get the house ready within the four week timeline. And my warm minimalist design style is starting to take shape. The warm LVP floors are in throughout the house, giving it that consistent feel it was lacking. And it will go great with the warm staging pieces I have planned. In the kitchen, we're finishing up the tile on the walls, giving a minimalist counterpoint to those beautiful warm blue cabinets. Outside, Lindsay got her way, and the siding is getting a fresh coat of paint for a warm, inviting curb appeal needed to compete with all that new construction. We are down to the wire at Nate and Sonia's house. Jeff is hard at work on the very last project of installing a custom headboard, but there's one last thing we need to do before we can get Sonia and Nate's house listed. Back it up. Pause. Good job. We have got a lot to do to get this house staged. Oh, nice. This is the downstairs bonus room couch. This goes on that kitchen bar. Bonus room. OK, the butcher block goes into the kitchen, kind of centered. It's really assembly line time. Let's just get it out, get it unpacked, and get it into the house. I think we'll lay that out once you know how you're going to lay out your living room. I love how Lindsay's able to do different styles at different homes. But I'm going to warm it up with some wood tones, some blacks, blues. I'm going to carry that throughout the house and upstairs into the main bedroom, into the nightstands with a really deep wood tone, which is really going to tie the whole style together. And it goes really nice with our headboard. Love it. Awesome. I love that blue. I like the uh, garage doors. Mm. Yeah. They, they really pop. When you drive down, you just want to buy it. Yay! I love it. Dude, that's what we were going for. Are you guys excited to see inside? I'm Absolutely. We're so excited. Yeah. OK. Us too. Oh, are we going to do it now? Here we go. OK. Oh my 
Gus. So you look like the same I house. I can't. The banisher's gone, so we can just walk right in. There's, yeah, a, that's a great there's idea. an entryway. It feels open. Yeah. I love her. I love her. Yes. Let's go check out that kitchen. I can't. I, oh my gosh. It's so spacious somehow. Right. Yeah. By removing this half wall and raising those floors, it gave us more square footage somehow, but yet it's the same layout. It's amazing. I never, ever would have been brave enough for the blue. It really works, especially with the tiles and everything else. It just it all blends in. I fought it at first. I got on board once I saw them, but it made me a little bit nervous. Yeah. It works. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Is that just like butcher block? It is. Yep. Now I'm really jealous that someone else gets this house. There's a ton of cabinet space. Yeah. That's great. Oh my god, I love it, you guys. Let's go see downstairs. Okay. Yeah. Okay, excited. Oh my gosh. Ooh, oh gosh. You Dressed guys. up your laundry oh, area. That looks great. That looks awesome. Oh, it looks so nice up here. Oh, nice. Oh, it's so pretty. Way different. Yeah. yeah. A new vanity, you know, something that you would find in a Bothell new construction home. Love it, guys. Oh, yeah, very smart. Let's go see okay. a bedroom. The f oh. <gasps> How is it so big? What were we thinking, Nate? <laughs> Love it. Oh, man. Look at the headboard. Does that stay? The headboard? It it's a built in oh, yeah. piece. Oh, oh, awesome. You're so smart. Okay, one more room. That the bathroom. bathroom? Okay. Yes. Here we go. Gosh, it's so pretty in here. I don't think I've seen a, like a whole wall of tile like that before. We felt like this bathroom needed more. It yeah. needs something a little special. So adding that wall of tile was definitely an upgrade, yeah. but I think worth it. Well, it gives that higher end feel too. Totally. For sure. Yeah. Hey guys, let's go uh, talk about numbers and okay. next steps. Okay. So you guys were gonna list it at 600,000 and we had anticipated putting in $80,000 and that is what we put in. So if we list at that 775 and we get that price, that would still leave $95,000 in profit that we would split 50-50, 47.5 and 47.5. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, crazy. I'm thinking we list tomorrow and we actually do what's called an offer review date. I would like five days for buyers to come in, see the home, and then we'll review the offers. Okay. Great. All right. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Well, I'm it's gonna awesome. show you guys out so yeah. we can clean up and get this listed in the morning. Yay! Great. Well, it looks super cute. Yes. I like the flag lot driveway. Fresh exterior paint. Hi. Good afternoon. How are you? Good. Who's looking for a house? Me. OK. okay. Yes. Hi. Hello. Oh, hello. I'm sure you guys have done your research, but this is an awesome school district. Would this be a big enough kitchen? We do have two pantries, which was a big thing for us because we felt like, you know, you can never have too much storage. I really like the colors of the cabinets. The blue oh, with choice. the gold accents. Yeah. yeah. I love the countertop over there. Oh, yeah. yeah, with the herringbone pattern. That's very beautiful. It's, it's modern, yet traditional. It fits the neighborhood really nicely. So, overall, compared to other homes that you've seen, what do you think? I think it's perfect, really. I think you're gonna hit it out of the park. Awesome. This house is a treasure. Thank you. So what's new with Sonia and Nate's house? We ended up with, gosh, 45, 50 groups through. Holy moly. I know, in five days. How many offers did we end up with? Four offers. Okay. Honestly, any of them could have worked. But the offer that they ended up selecting, waived financing, two-day inspection. So waived financing meaning? We don't need to worry about an appraisal. Oh, nice. And a uh, final purchase price of 830. 
Holy moly. So that's $55,000 over our list price. Were they like freaking out when you told them? They were pretty dang stoked. Yeah. They were listed at 600. We put in 80,000. So we are each going to make $75,000. That's awesome. That's incredible. I love that we made them so much more money. Me too.